Hello, and welcome to the first ever episode of Common Misconceptions, part of Science Faction. Um, I'm quite excited to be doing this today because it's the first time I've done it, and I'm looking forward to getting on with it. I thought we'd talk about Newton's third law for, for starters, and where better to start than with um, a device that Newton himself actually invented. Wrong! No, actually he didn't. Um, the Newton's Cradle was thought to be designed by um, a chap in Canada. Nobody knows who, nobody knows when, but it was actually named by Simon Preble in the late 60s, uh, who named it for a wooden version. Um, and the principle that it's based on was discovered by Abbe Marriott in the 17th century. So actually, very little to do with Newton at all, other than the fact that he talked about the principle itself in uh, his Principia Mathematica. So, let's go on. You might think that the Newton's Third Law, which says for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction, is referring to this. Gravity is pulling my very Newton's Cradle downwards. And the stool is pushing my Newton's Cradle upwards. These are equal and opposite forces, uh, which is true because my cradle is not getting faster or slower and the two forces that I mentioned are acting in opposite directions, so they are equal and opposite, but this is not a Newtonian pair of forces, unfortunately. Rather confusingly, it only applies to forces of the same type acting on different things. So in my first example, gravity is pulling my Newton's cradle down, but at the same time gravity is also pulling the earth up towards my Newton's cradle. All right? The stool is exerting an upwards force on the cradle. The cradle is also exerting a downwards force on the stool. Okay, those are two pairs of Newton's forces. Okay, so in the first one, gravity is acting on the cradle downwards and the earth upwards, equally and oppositely. The reason the cradle will fall <coughs> when I drop it and the earth won't go up is their relative differences in mass, not the forces. The forces are the same, the masses are obviously vastly different, which is why the cradle goes down and the earth doesn't noticeably go up. To test yourself, if I push my cradle along the floor, or the stool rather, give me some pairs of forces. For a start, the push, I am pushing with a certain force, the cradle is pushing back with the equal and opposite force. Friction stopping the cradle from moving that way, so the force is acting this way, but equally the cradle is exerting a friction force on the stool in the opposite direction, equal and opposite. And that is done.